Three men block grandma at ATM, find out they messed with the wrong granny. Some people have no morals, preying on the weak or vulnerable, thinking they've chosen an easy target. In most cases, the victims don't stand a chance against their violent perpetrators. However, in this case, this grandma proves you should never judge a book by its cover. Winifred had begun her day as normal as ever, heading out to get some errands done and check out the local shops, as she regularly did. However, this time, something felt much different. As she began grabbing some cash out, she felt an ominous presence behind her. Her skin began to crawl and the hairs on the back of her neck stood up. Three men in their twenties began to approach her with nothing good in mind. These hooligans were up to no good, and Winifred was about to teach them a serious lesson. This once sleepy British town was about to get a story that would make headlines for weeks to come. Winifred Peel, a 77-year-old grandmother, lives a quiet life near Liverpool. The retired grandma is never in a rush, and that's how she likes it. She loves to stay active, with limitations of course due to her age. But on this day, she wasn't going to let anything stop her from standing up for herself. Typical England weather made an appearance that day, causing Winifred to bundle up before heading out. Looking through the local shops, she decided it was time for a cup of tea and something sweet to warm her up on such a cold day. As she waded through the old town she noticed three men arguing on the sidewalk. It caught her eye, but as she passed them she thought nothing more of it. Winifred, or Winnie as her friends and family call her, enjoyed doing many things. She is a handy woman, repairing, gardening, and even building. She had various skills, some she never thought she would have to use in a situation like this. It's a good thing she kept herself active and strong because she was about to get the shock of her life that would need some quick thinking and agile movements to get out of. She remembered that her best friend's daughter was about to have a birthday. She wanted to get her something nice, so she headed to a local clothing shop. As she perused the aisles she found a few nice things that she knew she would love. Looking in her wallet, she realized she didn't have enough cash on hand, so she put the items on hold and headed to the ATM. It was here that the 77-year-old found herself surrounded by strange and angry men. Before she knew what was going on, she needed a moment to catch her breath, letting a younger woman go before her. When she pulled out her wallet and got ready to approach the ATM, she noticed she wasn't alone. Seeing a man's reflection in the screen on the ATM, she initially thought that whoever was behind her just didn't have great manners and was a little too close. She continued with her transaction, putting in her pin and hitting continue. All of a sudden, her vision went blurry and she fell to the ground. It took a second for her to realize what had happened, but quickly she realized she had been shoved to the ground. Rage immediately filled her body, and she jumped back up as fast as she could. She kept thinking, there is no way this man is taking my money. This time, it was the thieves that didn't have time to react, as Winnie immediately started fighting back. She grabbed the head of the man closest to her, bashing it against the brick wall of the building. In shock, the thieves began running away. She realized it was the three men she had seen arguing earlier. With adrenaline rushing through her body, she started to shake. After a few minutes she had digested what had just happened to her, realizing the situation could have gone a lot differently. It was only afterwards that I realized what I'd done and started shaking, Winnie said when later interviewed, what if he'd had a knife? I might not be here today. While she is most certainly right in her post-attack thinking, we'd be lying if we said we weren't glad that she showed these guys what she is made of. Luckily, she sustained only minor injuries from the attack, and they weren't going to get away with it. At the moment of the incident, people started crowding around Winnie, trying to see if she was okay. She was clearly distressed, but she really wanted the people to help her catch the thieves, it was all she could think about. Two men ran after the thieves in hopes to apprehend them. Although the Good Samaritans lost them, the police were hot on their trail. Looking at the wall, everyone noticed just how much power Winnie had behind her small little arms. She had caused some serious damage to the perp, and he deserved every bit of it. Winnie works out four times a week, and she couldn't be happier about her choice than in this moment. She was able to defend herself, scaring off the thieves. Luckily, this story ends in justice being served and Winnie becoming a local hero. 
local police ended up catching the three men loitering down the street. One had a telltale wound on his head where Winnie had bashed it against the wall. They were all taken to the police station and were about to get sentences that would reflect their disgusting behavior. All three men pled guilty to their crime and were sentenced to prison time. The judge said they had cast a shadow over her twilight years, and for that, they had to pay. However, Winnie is glad that it happened to her and not someone else who couldn't defend themselves like she did. Winnie is now a local celebrity, known as the woman who wasn't going to let anyone walk all over her. Although the situation could have turned out differently if the perpetrators had a weapon, we're all glad that justice prevailed, especially Winnie. Winnie has now resumed life as she knew it before the attack, staying as active as ever. Winnie has taught us all a lesson, never judge a book by its cover.